Hello and welcome to this video which is on how to use the Simultrain project management simulation software which is available for anyone who is interested in learning and using project management simulation in order to help teach, reinforce, and maintain their project management skills. My name is John Yusbosich. I will be helping you navigate the demo software in order for you to understand how best you can go about using this as part of your project management program. Go to simultrain.swiss. After that, you can go ahead and you're going to want to try the demo. This first page goes about and showing you the different options which are available within the Simultrain simulation. So as you can see, this simulation, we're going to set it for English. However, we have many different options as far as which languages the simulation can be exercised in. Furthermore, we can change the different scenarios, whether we want to do an e-commerce website, an agile project, an event such as hosting the World Cup soccer event, marketing, or creating an oil gas pipeline, a production move, or corporate reorg. Then what we're going to do is you can also change the speed of how fast you want the simulation to go. In order to facilitate this video, we're going to stick with the demo. However, you can decide whether or not you want to slow it down or if you want to speed it up depending on your skill level. We have the option to implement a risk register and risk uh, in a project. So for, this, for purposes of this, we will go ahead and turn on risk. We also have the opportunity to implement a racing matrix. And for right now, we'll stick with no. Plan changes, so if we want to have a scope change, and we will also start with a project that is semi-planned, all right? Additionally, we can change the difficulty levels of cost, schedule, quality, motivation of your team members, and risk. We will go through and show you the different options of where things are. We are going to save our changes, and we're going to look and just implement a planning session. We haven't actually started the clock, okay? couple of things that are important on this page uh, let you know that you're still in the demo. In the left hand column these are the different tools and screens that we will be using to navigate the simulation. To provide a high level overview we will have a budget. Right now there is nothing in progress versus actual. However these are estimated costs that are already here as part of our project. We have a Gantt diagram which someone has conveniently started for us. These are our team members that are available to us. One of the important things to note on in the simulation is that we have three people who are on our particular payroll. And those people are Tim, Sue, and Fred. The other people are available resources for us that we can hire they are within the company. Okay? We have our network diagram. We have several different reports that we can look at, such as our project description. So we chose an e-commerce. Management wishes to provide our customers with an online interactive service, which allows customers to follow up and control orders without the intervention of customer service or accounting departments. Okay? This project is an estimated duration of 55 days, and we've been given a budget of $500,000 in order to complete this project. Okay? We have four milestones. And these are our resources, our core team, and then other people that are necessary. We also have a weekly calendar that we can use and manipulate throughout the course of the project. And so we can see that there are certain things that have already been filled in, such as a one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting with Fred and a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Sue. Uh, we also have a lunch with our project team, a discussion with Jeff, and a discussion with Rito. And if we go back to our reports, one of the things that was important is understanding who's who in our organization. So this is our organization chart. We have Michael, and he's our PM coach. We have Jeff, who's the director of the organization, and Rito, who is our customer support projects. These are some pretty key stakeholders that we definitely want to keep happy. We also understand who these are the people that are available and who they report to. Okay, so we report to Rito. 
Continuing down the left hand side, we also have our risk register. So for instance, we started with some parts of the plan already implemented. So scope creep, which is a standard risk of any project, we already have a response that's been planned for that. Okay, same thing with initial plan, initial plan mistake, we have a response plan. However, we do not have responses for three, five, six, and seven. So if we want to go ahead, we'll take these and we'll start this. So the server with the project management software breaks down, probability is point is five percent, and the estimated impact is eight thousand dollars. Okay? So one of the things that we can do is we will take out a contract for fast server replacement and additional backup. So now we can see that by choosing that response, we now have a response that's planned for this particular risk. Let's go back to our office. We are going to be gauged on costs, schedule, quality, motivation, and risk management. Okay. Some other important things that we want to be aware of in our office is that we have emails periodically appear and we will also have an assistant who will come in and ask us questions throughout the simulation as far as what are the things that we should be doing. Furthermore, we have a cell phone and we will be getting calls that we'll, we will have to respond to. So if we go back to our Gantt diagram, we notice that we have certain activities. We have our critical path, which right now is based on activities 1, 11, 13, 14, 15, and 17. Okay? Already some people have, already, have been assigned to these particular projects, but let's go back to activity one, okay? So if we look at this activity, we have the number of people, when our initial plan said two, we have two people that are on it, and right now the duration is, the initial plan said five, and we are at actual, okay? So some things that we may wanna do is to look at this. Another thing that's important, and this is how we go back to managing one of our metrics, are these quality reviews. So if you look at a quality review is for any particular activity, you can assign a certain amount of quality checks. So the more checks you have, the better the quality, but also just like in, real, in the real world, your quality will also increase the length of time for any particular uh, activity if mistakes are found and need to be corrected. So right now this activity with, let's say, a duration of six and two, and we might want to increase that. Another thing that we want to keep in mind is we look at our people. So some people, just like in the real world, are better at things than others. Sue is very good, Fred not so much. So maybe in that particular case we want to have more quality checks in this particular activity. Something to always bear in mind. Going back to our Gantt diagram, what we're looking at doing here is we'll say activity two, we need to assign resources. So we need to have a person who is at least a five in web design and somebody with business skills. Okay, so if we go to our team and we look up who these people might be, we see Anna, well, she has the necessary skills in order to complete this activity. So we go back and we will assign her to task two. By going back to our activity, we look at this and say, okay, we have assigned Anna to this project. And Anna is probably the right person for this job because our initial plan said one person. We have assigned one person and the days is correct, okay? We want to check our quality reviews and we will go ahead and add two quality reviews for this particular activity. As you go forward, and continue with the simulation, you continue to assign resources to any particular task. One of the things that we can also do is we can over and crash a particular activity. So if we take a look at this activity one, we have Fred and Sue, but Tim isn't really doing anything and he's on our team. So let's go ahead and add Tim to this particular activity. All right, and we want to add him to activity one. If we go back to our Gantt diagram, we have significantly shortened the length of time that this particular activity takes and it has also changed our critical path. At this point, this should have given you a brief overview of how things are in this particular simulation. As you make changes to the simulation, just like in the real world, the simulation reacts dynamically. 
So if we go to our Gantt chart, we'll see that we have gotten rid of one, act to one action on our critical path, making our critical path rather short. So let's go ahead and check our office. We will continue to do this. At this point, we will exercise and begin the clock. So to do so, you come down here to Control, and we're going to start the clock. All right, and you can see that the clock is running by the time as it's move as the bar is moving across in the upper left hand corner. And at this point, we basically continue with what we were doing, which is assigning resources to a particular activity. Oh, it looks like we have a person and our first question. The project team suggests a two hour kickoff meeting. And there are four options. Well, I always enjoy having a, a kickoff meeting for a project, so I will certainly do that. And our project manager, our coach, thinks that's a good decision as well. We have another decision that needs to be made. Rito asks you how much time you want to dedicate to marketing our particular projects. always a good idea to make sure that you're maintaining your visibility and profile in a particular project. We have three emails. Activity specifications is too hard. Okay. Calendar. We have a discussion with Fred. Office. Sue asks what you intend to do to make sure Topax, the supplier, delivers the components she needs on time. I always want to make sure that my team members have everything necessary. I continue back to my office. I still have emails. Sue and Tim. Okay, so when we see activities like this on the calendar, one of the things that's important is when you have a discussion with somebody, you can have an explanation. And these discussions have the general effects of framing the work, motivating your employees, and diffusing con conflicts. So we want to make sure that because it was difficult for Fred, Sue, and for Tim, that we find a team. So we have a discussion, Tim is available for us to go ahead. So now we understand that those things can be taken care of. We go back to our Gantt diagram and assign resources to a particular activity. So we so far here, but we have nothing on our critical path. We need a four. And this one has no quality reviews. Hopefully this demonstration has provided you a high level overview of understanding the basics of the Simultrain simulation and how to go ahead and get started in using this particular tool. For further information, please contact Merit Career Development. Thank you.